action. The delusional baby mama is going to destroy America. I'm scrolling through Instagram and I come across one of the dumbest people I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't just listen to me, listen to her. I have been a single mom for all of two years and I have to say, I hate it here. I don't hate being a mom, I don't hate having kids, but I hate the fact that I only had two options, either stay in an unhealthy, dysfunctional relationship or do it all on my own. She said, my feelings matter more than my family, and so she destroyed her family. And see, when I was a stay-at-home mom, I did the cooking, the cleaning. I was a primary person in charge of taking care of the children. And here I thought that that was a totally different category than being a working mom. For every single mother in America, if you can't afford to be a single mother, you shouldn't do that. As a working mom, I'm literally still doing all of the same stay-at-home mom shit, just on a different schedule. But now, with the added mental stress load of how do I pay every bill by myself. This woman had a whole family and she sacrificed her family for her feelings. One day she had a feeling, that feeling led to a thought, and she said, I don't like this position. I think that I can do better by myself. And that's not even the part that frustrates me. The kicker is that this is culturally normal and even embrace that if you're a single mom, you're just gonna struggle and that's it. What other option do you think there is? What do you want anyone else to do? Like I could be on the brink of a mental breakdown, literally underwater telling people like, I do not know how to make this better. And someone will ask me, what's wrong? Are you okay? No, I'm not. And the response is, well, you know, it's hard out here for everybody. And I get it. We all have our challenges. We're all going through our own struggles. But why is it culturally normal for this to be the only other option? Like at this point, I'm about to start dating other moms to see who wants to co-mother together. Guess what happens if you have two single mothers raising children? You got double the children and you got two stupid women working together. You couldn't work with a man. What makes you think you're going to work with a woman, huh? because the fact that we're all just isolated but going through the same exact challenges at the same time just feels ridiculous this is the logic that's coming from the delusional baby mama you get so wrapped up in your feelings that you can't actually function in reality if you're a mother in america and the father loves his children and he's willing to work with you to raise those children if you leave that man you're a bad mother it takes two people to make a baby. It takes two people to raise a baby. And if the single delusional baby mama could have that type of realization, then we have a much better world. But that's not the world that we live in. The single baby mama is dictated by her feelings. And so when she has a feeling, she's going to say, oh, you go to work every day and I'm here in the house by myself. And that makes me unhappy. And when you come home, I need you to fold the clothes. And when you come home, I need you to help me cook. And when you come home, I need you. I need you. I need you. Hey, woman, I need you to stop being stupid. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.